Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. There's the mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. Maybe we can get Molly. I mean, she's still here, but I don't know where. Let's go talk to Omid. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. Hey. Um. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? Um... I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. Okay, can we just go back? Let me find Kenny. See if anything else is here. Well, where is Kenny? Fuck, where's Kenny? I have no idea. All I see is Krista. No need. The footprints. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Ew. That doesn't really mean much. That looks bad. Wait, can I go this way now? I can. Oh, there's Kenny. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. That looks like Crawford Square over there. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. <laughs> you know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are, right now, and I can't imagine Cat and Duck in all this mess. Kid. No. No, I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's... it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. God, Kenny. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man, who knows? The mansion's that way. Bell Tower's over there. If we go down the opposite side of the roof, we might be able to make it without too much trouble. I can do that, yeah. Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. Dude, take all the time you need. If you actually lost a wife you actually really loved, it's it's gonna take a while, man. You can't just do it in one day like you were. Cause it feels like months for me because literally it's kind of been months, but... I'm talking about Kenny and Katya, by the way. But, yeah, Jesus. No okay. way. It's higher than this roof, for starters. With the bell tower on this side of the hospital, Wait. and the mansion over there... Uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. I got it. Little 
thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Alright, everyone. I got a plan. And I know exactly how to do it. So let me go um, over here and grab a huge item that uh, is going to be put in my back pocket. See? <laughs> Whoa! You need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Seriously, Lee, Shit. ask for help. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. All right, Lee. Here we go. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. Hold it. Oh man, I am on edge right now. Oh my god, my entire, like, feet are... Oh shit. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go! Yeah, I got one! Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? Alright, don't do that yet. It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! Okay. A few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. Well, yeah, why would you want to get out of there? Can we go talk to them? No? Well, might as well pull the rope. They're coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! You got this! Got this, motherfucker. Yeah! <sighs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Do this, Lee. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, I wasn't even touching my controller. Good goddamn Lee. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's get the hell off this roof. Oh, I broke my ribs. My heart. <laughs> my heart is stopping. Oh, Jesus, man. Look at that Hawaiian guy. That sounded like a silencer. Whatever. You know? Mahalo. <laughs> Holy... What the fuck? Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way! 
The invalids? Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. He says he feels bad about leaving Clementine behind. But the boat was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Vernon probably planned this out the second he laid eyes on that boat. They fucked us! Well, let's go kill him. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, Whoa. shit! Here they come! In the house! Whoa, how the... What? They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Um. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omi. What is it? Go now! Front hallway! Oh shit. <laughs> Nope, 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 doggy doors. Uh, why do you, why are you allowed in? Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Okay, come Hurry! On. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Perfect! Take their goddamn arms off! Like I took, like you guys took my arm off. Of course! Drop your fingers. Now what? Barricade the gosh darn door. Everybody. We have to hide and then find a way out. Lee's right. This place is secure. We're patient and then we get going. <laughs> Fuck! Oh New plan! God. Get upstairs! Go! Oh god, it's her. I don't care. Guys, help me with this. Can do. Oh my god, I am pressing A like a boss. Pressing A like a boss. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. This is slowing down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand! 